Oh, wait. There we go. Make our way downtown. I feel like the music here, though. Very nice. It's this very uh, sprawling area. All these houses and buildings and everything in between. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's see if we can clean up shop here. And sell it on City Gym, eh? Alright, here we go. What do we got? Welcome to the Celadon Gym. You better not underestimate the nice ladies here. Oh, trust me. With all the status-inducing stuff that's been going on, can't say that I have been. Although you have a very large team of Pokemon. I hope you like Ember. Hey! Good start. Good start. Yeah, not today, Bellsprout. Suck it. You ain't hitting me with stun sword today. You go ahead and take a nap. Alright. Oddish. Alright. No big deal. Get you up with a number. Even though you don't really take all that much damage from it. Well, well there we go. Can I say I'm surprised by this anymore? I mean... I really shouldn't be. I'm not, but, you know. It would be nice. We maybe stop seeing all the goddamn status inducing moves. Alright. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Really? I just cured myself of paralysis, and what do you do? Do it again. Could you maybe try attacking me at the very least? I mean, I feel like that would go a long way than just, oh. Let's just go ahead and do an. Oh, you son of a. You would. You whip out the super potion, wouldn't you? Given your rank as a trainer, makes sense, but still. Doesn't mean it bothers the piss out of me. Oh my god. What I do to literally just train my other Pokemon. Literally what I do. <sighs> Hopefully this will take out Oddish. Keyword is hope after all. Thank you. Oh, Weeping Bell. This will be a nice amount of experience. You know what I'm going to do? Will-O-Wisp. And then I'm going to hit you with Confuse Ray because I hate you as a Weeping Bell. There we go. Yeah. I don't even care. This is this this is just payback for what you did to me earlier. Like you keep doing that, fine enough. I mean, keep in mind that grass is considered physical in this game, so those stab growths that you're doing aren't exactly helping you out. Yeah, I don't even care now. I'm just a big old meanie head. And I'm going to cure myself of paralysis. So suck it, Weeping Bell. Oh, come on. Really? Well, it doesn't really matter too much. Because I can just whip out the Ember. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Oh, come on. Why is it that when I whip out the status-inducing moves, they don't get it, but nah, they can just do whatever they want. Huh. <sighs> we get another Vine Whip. Yeah, me. See ya, Weeping Bell. Alright. Get some fat experience, as always. Gloom. Okay. We haven't seen Gloom before, I don't believe. Nice to see it here. Oh boy. More sweet scents. Because we do love to see that. Really? Come on, Vulpix. At least it's not doing anything crazy. I can respect that at the very least. Bonk. 
Yeah, keep doing absorb. You're only gonna get like what? Two HP? Literally only two HP. Heck yeah. Alright, let's get that super potion going once again. No. Anything but this. I think what I'm going to do for the boss battle is I'm going to probably uh, think about it now. Because I'll have Vulpix take the lead, but I'll switch Vulpix out for my Furo. I think Furo will do the cleanup. Just because Vulpix takes so long to do anything. And if we're seeing this amount of status ailments happening left and right and up and down, I can't imagine the boss fight uh, holding back with regards to wanting to induce them on me. Show up with an ember, and that'll finish Gloom off. Very nice. More XP. Ooh, Ivysaur. Vulpix is having a good day today, honestly. No. Well, it's not very effective. I'll tell you what's very effective. This ember coming right at Ivysaur's face and getting the critical. Ouchie. It's not very... Oh, come on, Vulpix. Pull your weight here. You gotta pull your weight here at some point, Vulpix. There we go. Inflict burn, inflict burn. Dang it. Oh. Please hit. Thank you. Thank you, Vulpix. You pulled your weight for me. Get a nice little level up for you. Oh, beaten. Beaten indeed. Well, time for another super potion. And another paralyze heal. There we go. What do you got for us? Oh, hey, we don't like bug or fire type Pokemon in here. Well, you're going to love what I'm about to send out in just a moment. Although I'm surprised that she said bug type. Because most of these are Pokemon that the grass types are dual type. There are very few, like, just solo grass Pokemon. So, I mean, bug types wouldn't really do much. I think flying types would be a bit better to bring in here with rather than a bug type eh. that's just me that's just me although I don't like seeing acid come out though that could be a problem the only also is a problem is the fact that Vulpix likes to take a nap big old nap on the battlefield I don't know how I'm feeling about that come on now Vulpix can you just yell in the Vulpix's ear like hey Get up. Stop sleeping on the job. There we go. Ember away. Alright. 384 XP. We got a gloom coming out. You know what? Screw you. You're getting hit with Confuse Ray. Suck it, gloom. Gloom is confused. And Gloom can still land hits because of course she can. Oh, man. Why me, dude? Just why me? I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, you better hit yourself this turn. There you go. Respectable. As my Vulpix likes to take a nap. Of course. Uh... Let's just say this gym be dragging its feet right now. We got some cinder blocks coming through here. That was weird. Oh. There we go. I want to make sure that my chairs, uh, what is it? My armrests are relatively uh, in decent positions. All right. Come on now. Oh, just burn. Just do something. Why can't you do anything, Vulpix? 
What is this? You're slacking. You are slacking right now. Why? And this gloom can't even do anything. It's just sitting there using sweets on. I'm like, come on now. God, sleep has to be one of the most obnoxious, like, status-inducing moves ever. Like, poison's poison. Like, you can you can sort of tank your way through it, but sleep? It's kind of up in the air in terms of whenever you decide to wake up. And that's just no fun. Oh my god, this is three turns. Three turns in a row. And now you can't even do anything else, Gloom. Yeah, get out of here. Just get out of here. Ay, ay, ay. Thank you. Oh, you. Yeah, you. Huh. <sighs> unreal. Just unreal is one way to put it. All right. How are we doing on PP for you, Vulpix? How are we doing? Got five left. I'll keep you in. Just because it'd be a good idea. Please do you. My hobby is Pokemon training. Yeah, I think I'll have Piero just solo the Celadon Gym Leader. Oh, this is an interesting one. Execute. Execute, say, Grass Psychic type. So, we got an interesting typing here. Really? Even here, too? Ah. <sighs> You can't win them all. You really can't. You can try, but you can't. Well, you raise defense, but I'm hitting you with special attacks, so that's not going to do you much. Are you kidding me? What kind of setup shenanigans is this? This is so dumb. <laughs> the fight drags even harder out just because of this dumb execute. Please burn. Why can't you burn him? Or her. Just burn her. That's all I want from you, Vulpix. Just put, just put a little more oomph into your ember, you know? There you go. There you go. We coming through now. Hopefully we get a level up. Well, I said hope. It was a mean definite. Oh, splendid. I'm splendid indeed. Alright, I am going to get Fira out. And we're just going to do sweep. Because we went through... A drag of a gem. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I am the leader of Celadon Gym. I am a student of the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are solely of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well. But I shall not lose. Yeah, if you keep hitting me with status elements, I'm pretty sure that'll be the case. Alright. So, first Pokemon of Erica. We got a victory bell here. Has level 29, has the ability Chlorophyll, and it knows Stun Spore, Poison Powder, Acid, and Giga Drain. If you've seen the pattern that we've been dealing with with regards to this gym, you know what this gym leader is going to be wanting to do. Case in point. Literally, status elements up the butt. And it's very obnoxious, to put it one way. So I hope you got a lot of status healers, or just a lot of ways to cure status. Because, boy oh boy, isn't it just fun <laughs> to keep dealing with it all the time? And I hate how they're landing it like it's nothing. I guess, like, this is one shot. It's not even hard, it's just like, oh, hey, look, I have a way to keep dealing with your baloney. Like, I'd rather be poisoned at this point. If I'm going to be 100% honest with you, I'd rather be poisoned than hit with, uh... Than hit with good old Stun Spore. Because Stun Spore means you'll miss. Poison is just a little annoyance. Alright, so... The next Pokemon that Erica has is Tangela, level 24, with the ability Chlorophyll, Poison Powder, Ingrain, Constrict, and Giga Drain. This thing's going to try to heal itself off of you and whittle you down of HP at the same time. I'm going to level with you. This Tangela is about to literally meet its demise in about a few seconds here. So, sucks to suck for Tangela, I guess. See ya. 
Nice try, I guess. All right, and her last Pokemon, Vileplume, her ace in the hole, as you could put it. Level 29 has Chlorophyll for the ability, Sleep Powder, Stun Spore, Acid, and Giga Drain. Gonna level the out of all things. I'd like to see her hit me with with the Vile Plume would probably be a Stun Spore, honestly. Hey, look at that, and she missed, so that's good. So much for that Vile Plume. We do like to see it. And we do like to see that amazing experience gain. Oh, I concede defeat. You're remarkably strong. Let's confer on you the Rainbow Badge. And we get some nice money as a result. The Rainbow Badge will make Pokemon up to level 50 obey. It also allows Pokemon to use strength in and out of battle. Please also take this with you. And we got TM19, which I think is Giga Drain, right? Yep. Very nice. I am actually going to teach Giga Drain to our fine lad Venusaur. It's not the greatest of moves, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, at least in this game, Giga Drain only has like 5 PP. It only has like 60 power, so that's kind of crap. But considering that I'm going to teach it over Vine Whip, which is a 35 power move and only has 10 PP, I think this is a fair trade-off. I think uh, I think Venusaur will be able to take advantage of this one very well. And honestly, the move pool, or at least the move set that Venusaur has right now, pretty good. I think I'd say that's pretty respectable.